Congratulations on your purchase of the CPSC compliant SR Smith Typhoon. We've created this video to give you an overview and to aid you in the installation process. You can also use this as a visual aid by viewing on your mobile device during installation. Be sure to refer to the instruction manual that came with your slide for the exact measurements, procedures, and details. It is strongly recommended that at least two people assemble the slide to safely move it during installation. Let's get started. When your slide arrives, be sure to note all of the warning and information labels on the box before opening the package. Once you've opened the package, we encourage you to use the cardboard from the box to protect all of the slide's components from scratches or damage that could be caused by your pool deck. Take a minute to look through and inventory the hardware, materials, and recommended tools list to ensure that you have everything you'll need to complete the installation. It is important to inspect all of the gaskets on the slide to ensure that they are intact before you begin assembly. You can now begin to assemble your slide. Start with the lower section of the slide. This includes the pedestal and exit runway. Feel for a dimple at the base of the slide and drill pilot holes for the lag screws. To prevent scratches from your pool deck, it is strongly recommended to use two people whenever you move, flip, or rearrange your slide. Once the bottom section is assembled, you can start on the ladder and top section of the slide. Be sure to use the anti-seize lubricant on all hardware except the lag screw bolts. This symbol will appear each time the anti-seize should be used. Insert the four stud bolts where the top section will be attached. If needed to secure the stud bolt, you can wrap it with a cloth or tape and use pliers or vice grips. Assemble the top and bottom sections of the ladder as shown. Use the appropriate hardware, but do not fully tighten. This will aid in alignment of components. Remember, do not tighten the bolts or screws completely until all of the holes line up and the bolts or screws fit properly. Once all of the hardware is in place, you can then fully tighten. You'll have to install a gasket on the top ladder section. Please refer to the instructions on how to do this properly. Attach the top runway to the ladder section. Inspect the gaskets one more time to ensure a proper seal before attaching the top and bottom sections of the slide together. A good tip to remember when assembling your slide is to always start the bolts and screws on the inside curves first, then move outward. Don't forget to use the anti-seize on all hardware except the lag screw bolts. You are now ready to install the slide to your pool deck. Please refer to the manual for all measurements and calculations. To guide where you need to drill, start by making a mark through the mounting holes. It's a good idea to use tape on your drill bit to ensure a proper hole depth. Clear the holes of debris, then place the mounting holes over the anchor holes.
drive the anchors through the slide mounting holes so that the nut and washer are flush with the surface material. Ensure the slide is plumb. If shims are necessary, please contact SR Smith. Tighten the nut three to five turns to expand the anchor. Remove the nut and add the lock washer before permanently tightening the nut to securely attach the slide to the pool deck. With the slide assembled, it's time to hook up the water system. It's a good idea to dry fit all of the plumbing pieces before gluing, so you can make adjustments accordingly. Use PVC primer and cement to attach the pieces together. After you firmly glue all of the plumbing pieces together, you can attach the water system to the slide. Congratulations, you have just installed your new SR Smith Typhoon. Enjoy and have some serious fun.